He is up with us. Dan Graziano is up with us. <clears throat> Looking ahead to some football. Mike T, play a game called right or wrong. If I were to say Josh Allen and the Bills are going to take a step back this season, would that be right or wrong? That'll be wrong. They're going to take a page out of the Kansas City Chiefs book, Greeny. Last year, the Bills were 24th in two tight end formation. The Chiefs were third. Look for Dalton Kincaid, second year tight end, to become a star. James Cook will be a front line running back, and that will allow Keon Coleman, their second round wide receiver, to develop solely. I think the Bills will still be there at the end. My team, next up, if I said uh, slim down Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry together are the biggest threat to Kansas City in the AFC, would that be right or wrong? That is right, Greeny. Derrick Henry is going to be a closer. How about this? Darius told me this this morning. The, the Ravens outscored their poor opponents by 201 points in the first three quarters, yet they were only 4-4 four and four when they were leading the fourth quarter with seven points or less. Look for Derrick Henry to be a great closer for the Baltimore Ravens. Thank you. It would have been, <clears throat> I'm so sorry about the voice, for a lot of different teams. Uh, one more. My, Mike T, if I were to say in Pittsburgh, the Steelers should play both. Justin Fields and Russell Wilson in week one. Would that be right or wrong? Well, I think that's actually wrong. I think they will, but they shouldn't. And Greedy, I still have scar tissue going back a decade when we played both Mark Sanchez and Tim Tebow. Who would ever trade for Tim Tebow? I think you have to <laughs> declare who your quarterback is and move forward. So to me, for their sake, let's hope it's Justin Fields, who you and I both believe have great upside, and he's a great fit with Arthur Smith, their offensive coordinator, long term. Yes, and so so I'm a big believer in that, and so are you. As far as the idea of playing both of them, RG3 was the first to bring it up on this show. Here's what he said about how they could utilize Fields this season. You create a red zone package for Justin Fields. Call it the field zone package, right? Allow him to use his athleticism and his running ability to punch in touchdowns. Then you can build RPOs off of that, which he excelled at in college. You can build boots and keepers and nakeds off of that to keep the defense off balance and allow him to stretch the field. And it gets his feet wet and allows him to have an impact on the game. So that was his idea. And again, RG3 brought that up. Here, last Wednesday in the Pittsburgh Tribune Review, Russell Wilson said Justin is obviously one of the most talented guys in the NFL. You know all the things he can do, the player, the quarterback that he is. He's dynamic. It's all about us winning. That's the focus. I think it would strike fear in some defenses. That's for sure. Dan Graziano, I mean, that, that is typical of Russell Wilson. Yeah, and I mean that in the right, of saying exactly the right thing. Yeah. That's exactly what he should say. But there's zero chance that's what he wants, and there's zero chance that's what Justin Fields wants, right? I mean, like, what, what RG3 is talking about sounds like a lot of fun, but it's not what the Steelers had in mind when they acquired these guys. They, they, didn't, they didn't sign them to, to play them both, right? They're going to have a quarterback competition this offseason, and each of these guys is determined to win it. Now, if there's a situation where Russell Wilson wins the quarterback job and Fields shows enough that they feel like they can do a, a design a package around him, great. But in the meantime, that's not what Justin Fields is trying to do there. He's trying to be the starting quarterback. Both of these guys, free agents, after the end of this season, both of them are going to be wanting to continue their careers. Obviously, Justin's, Justin's career is still trying to get off the ground. Right. Uh, and if he has to sit behind Russell Wilson all year, it's going to be tough to do that. Look, Mike T, you said it last week or whenever the last time you were here was. First and foremost, give Russell Wilson a lot of credit. He is proving that he wants to play because he could be making the same exact amount of money right now not playing. So he wants to play. But the reality is that if he doesn't, if, if he loses this quarterback battle, he's still a Hall of Famer with $300 million. Justin Fields doesn't, to your point, have any of that stuff yet. So I don't think Justin Fields is thinking, well, I sure hope I get a chance to come in there, you know, for two series a game inside the 10-yard line and make a few plays. He needs to be the starting quarterback. Yeah, Greeny, I think Graz makes the most important point. Not all quarterback competitions are created equal. They're both going to be free agents. And if I'm Justin Fields, I'm looking at Ryan Tannehill and all the success he had in Tennessee with Arthur Smith. They have the same skill set. They're big, strong, athletic, can make deep throws off of play action, and can make plays with their feet. And if I'm Justin Fields, I am dying to win this job because if I do, it just changes the trajectory of my career. I agree, Greeny. Look, Russell Wilson deserves a ton of credit. He obviously loves football, but he's much closer to the end. And if Mike Tomlin was telling the absolute truth, 
of course they're going to root for Justin Fields because of his age. If they hit on him, they have their quarterback for the next decade. That's correct. I think there, there are all those things pointing in that direction. But at the end of the day, we all also understand that, or at least I believe, this is a pretty good team. This is a team whose quarterback play has oh, sort of held its back. Exactly yeah. right. But my point is, if you get, let's say, a better than average quarterback play, which it feels like quite some time since Roethlisberger was so young enough to do it that they've had, this is a team that could compete. So what, I don't, I, if I'm Mike Tomlin, I'm thinking, I don't care which guy it is. I'll play the one who I think gives me the better chance to win. They made the playoffs last year playing Kenny Pickett and Mason Rudolph at quarterback. Right. And, and so whatever you get from Russell Wilson and or Justin Fields, you would think uh, would be an upgrade. But, yeah, th they have to figure that out. They also have a new offensive coordinator there in Arthur Smith. Significant departure from anything they've done on offense in recent years. So it's going to come down to who shows the ability to operate that offense best this summer. Russell Wilson, the last two years in Denver, did not show an ability to operate well within the structure of the offense. Uh, and that's why he's not there anymore. It's why Denver's paying him so much to not play for them. So, so Mike T, if you were to bet that palatial estate of yours in Boca Raton, Florida, on whether or not Justin Fields is the starter for Pittsburgh at some point this year, and if so, what week it begins, how would you handicap it? Oh, I very much so. I'd say by Halloween, because again, if it's close, like, the Steelers make more good decisions than bad ones, and they know because of the age that Fields' career could do this under Arthur Smith. So I, I'm very bullish on Justin Fields' long term, and I understand RD3's idea. But again, I lived it in New York. Like when you play two quarterbacks, you don't really have one. And I think the sooner they can establish one quarterback, and again, hopefully it's Fields for them, the better they are. And again, give Russell Wilson credit, but I'm sure they're thinking, boy, this guy's a caretaker on a one-year deal. We got to find our quarterback for the future, and hopefully it's Fields. Brian, look, the reality of the situation is we've talked a lot about their schedule. It starts with games they need to win because it, the, the backload of it is brutal. So if this team doesn't get off to a good start, they're probably going to finally, for the first time in a long time, dig a hole even Mike Tomlin can't dig them out of. We'll get back to basketball as we continue. In you have been defeated. is for the bold. Triple kill! Your team has destroyed a tower. Slot. Shut down. Let's fight for a better future. Dragon Strike! I shall you fight have been defeated. To my last breath. An ally has been defeated. is under attack this will prevail Get over here. Let's go. an enemy has been defeated you have defeated an enemy hey i'm toast double kill
An ally has been defeated. To victory! You have defeated an enemy! You have been defeated! Enemy double kill! Ace! Our base is under attack! Chào mừng đến với Bình Nguyên Vô Tận. Cả đội xông lên. Even if I forget my name, I'll remember her smile. I've known death, so I know how precious life is. My life reborn for the battle. 
We're done for! Life reborn for the battle. No! Look up. You have defeated an enemy. Double kill. Enemy ultimate. 